Oh, all right. Here we go again. All right. Terrence Crawford is on the Breakfast Club and he's been interviewed by Charlemagne. Uh, some along in the video you hear, and I can't find. I don't have time to be searching and skimming. But this is this is a quote at the end. They talking about Canelo. Charlemagne is one of the biggest instigators on the face of the planet. You know, he's trying to stir up stuff. Uh, you know, he's he's a guy that's in the classroom. When somebody do something, he goes, "Ooh, you gonna take that?" He's he's instigator. So. Bud Crawford is not really, he ain't thinking about no Canelo Alvarez. Charlemagne brought that to him. And he was like, you know, if I if I fought him, it had to be like at a catch weight or something. I mean, Charlemagne uh don't I mean, excuse me, Canelo has fought four weight divisions above Crawford. Light heavy. But listen to this. We all know Crawford's been campaigning to fight old Charlie Boy. He's been wanting to fight Charlie Boy ever since he said that Charlie Boy was nut hugging Errol Spence. Now everybody's saying he's challenging Alvarez. He ain't did no such thing. he has been talking about Charlo. His whole deal is I want to fight Charlo. He got a big mouth. I don't like the guy. I want to fight Charlo. Let him fight Charlo first, Charlemagne. Then ask him about Canelo. He asked him about boots. We all know it's a money thing now. I know that. That's common sense. I know what I would do if I was in Terrence Crawford's position. I'm going to cash my cash out ticket. I'm cashing out. And like Terrence Crawford said, I ain't going to care about what nobody think or say. That's what I'm going to do. Pay my dues. I work my ass off. And ain't nobody going to tell me who I need. Now, if I, it's mega fight time. Charlo put that in his Instagram description or on his little hashtag. He said he going to fight Canelo. Come down and, 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 and fight uh, Terrence Crawford after Errol Spence. Mega fights here on out. Once you start getting mega fights, you don't go backwards. Nobody goes backwards. Once you're a movie star, you're an actor, and your rate goes up, and you're making the, the, the millions and millions of dollars, you don't go backwards. It's common sense. Canelo and Terrence Crawford, when Canelo didn't fought it, light heavyweight, 175. The highest Crawford has fought is 147. He's willing to go up to 154 to fight Charlie Boy. And they talk about some Canelo Alvarez. Catch weight. So it ain't for no belts or nothing. It just let's just fight. Let me drain Canelo now. He's been fighting up at that high, <laughs> that higher weight class for so long. Let me strip him. Make him malnutrition. Crazy. <laughs> they don't, the people don't know what they want. They want Canelo. They want Boots. They want Charlo. They want Javante Davis. They want everybody, Tim Zoo. They want uh, Crowder to fight them all. All just get in the ring and y'all just have a Royal Rumble. And just Crawford just starts swinging. They <laughs> just want to see him get stopped out because he beat the big fish. Crawford, a bad boy. He got him on. He got him online. He made Charlemagne apologize. Say you sorry. He made Mayno apologize. Say you sorry. No, don't make him apologize, Crawford. Make him stay over there. Spence fans want to see a rematch. If you love Spence so much, why would you want to see your fighter get hurt? Roy Jones said 
He happy to be alive. <laughs> or the people, something else. They finicky, ain't they? Don't know which way they want to go. But anyway, all this Canelo talk, he didn't, he ain't been asked. This is this is Charlemagne's asking these questions. He didn't even uh, think, he, he thought Spence was going to beat Crawford. He don't even know what he's looking at. All he sees is two guys, and he knows Alvarez is popular. They make weight classes for a reason. You'll see when, when Charlie Boy go up to fight, fight Alvarez, why they make weight classes for a reason. I'm out. Comment, rate, subscribe.